All right, guys. So here's a bit of a map uh, that's been my experience in myself and who I've been dealing with. Okay. So a couple of the phrases you're going to learn is obviously the awesome tribe. We come from being awesome. And I'll take you through a, a process and we end up either in the dead club or in the dead zone. All right. And obviously if we get into that space, it's a pretty short gap down to the suicide. So I've conducted a trading needs analysis in regards to everything I've been through and what other people have been through, agree with it, disagree with it, it's a testimony. So just what we've found. Recce report, after action report, call it what you like. So basically we go from Club Awesome and our tribe with our value and our identity, our mission and our purpose. And through necessity or having no choice in the matter, you go into something that sucks. Yep, whether you are... Uh, have got post-traumatic stress disorder, you're medically discharged, you've had your leg blown off and you can no longer do that role, whether financially you've had to go from that tribe into another one, or you've gone from low paying to high paying job, back down to low paying job, you've gone from a place that you love, yeah, that's awesome, that gives you that value and identity, and you've gone somewhere where that sucks. And I found that people take two paths, and um, my path was this one that we'll talk about first, it starts with frustration. Yeah, you're totally frustrated. If you can hear drums in the background, where I'm filming at the moment, doing a whole lot of drum stuff. So I think that's actually synchronicity because it's uh, starting to spark me up a little bit. Got frustrated. A lot of my people are frustrated because they're no longer in this awesome tribe. We're no longer awesome anymore. Frustration is a really short step to anger. I was a very angry person. And then if you stay in that for too long, you either slide across to becoming depressed and going down the other pathway, or you get bitter and you turn into an asshole. So, do you know anyone from the military background that is now an angry, bitter asshole? I know a few. I was one. I can still be one. All right? So, we can see what's going on here. And what they try and do on the way through is still hold on to that identity all the time. I run into ex-veterans and ex-military and ex-cop and ex-people in this background. They're still out there beating their chest, trying to have this identity of being staunch. And I used to do this, and I'm the man, and you should respect me. No, because you give me no value. You're actually pissing me off now because we share the same tribe, but your identity and how you're acting is attacking my values and the values that we're supposed to stand for. So that was my path. And then amongst that, we a couple of bad personal issues, ended up getting depressed and numb, and then ended up in the dead zone. So the dead zone is the walking dead. You just exist. You have no purpose. You have no identity. The Bible calls it the congregation of the dead, and to balance that, all you religious people, Dr. Seuss, in a book called Oh, the Places You'll Go, calls it the waiting place. And it says you must not stay there. All right? Because you're dead. You're the walking dead. Within the dead zone is this place called the dead club. All right? And uh, I had a friend that I called. Um, he's going to blow his head off. All right? He'd had it. He's come from being awesome into a place that sucked, went all the way down, just didn't want to be here anymore. We've been there before, a lot of us have. So the first thing I said when I got on the phone to him was, brother, welcome to the dead club, bro. He's like, what the heck are you talking about? He says, well, a lot of us are supposed to be dead. A lot of us have wanted to not be here anymore. Yeah, People have tried to kill us, or we've wanted to check out. Yeah, So we've already been dead. So the only way is up. Put your hand on your heart, that thing's still beating, you're still in the fight, right? So that was the dead club. What's your membership to get into the dead club? Is wanting to be dead. Yeah? Or someone has tried to kill you and you've survived. So you've technically been dead. You're in the dead club. Yeah? Other people that don't realize that's where they're at yet, or not at that part, they're still in the dead zone. And so many of our people are wandering around here in the dead zone, or they're in the dead club. So all the people that I respond to that are wanting to take their life or had enough or struggling, they're in the dead club, man. They're wandering around in that dead zone. And unless we go in there and give them a way to get over to here, back into some awesome tribe, this is going to keep going around like it always has. Now, easy to say, Dion, how do we get them back into a tribe? We give them value and identity. How do we do that? We give them a mission, we give them a tribe. That's what I've created. That's what I had to do for me and for others. I was doing what are you doing at the moment? What can I help with? They want a mission. They want to feel needed. They want that value. I got a mission for all of you. Get the book, 
read it and understand the processes and go and use it. Use it to find those people and connect them to those specialists. Use the processes of that book. That's our first mission. Because what that book does, firstly, is the world's first good news book. What? I'm, it's good news. All right? This value identity, this tribe, even the shit that we go through is an advantage if it's utilized the correct way. And how are we utilizing it? To flip and win. All right? So, through this, it's really, really easy to see where somebody is when you're dealing with them. Are they an angry, bitter asshole? Are they depressed? Are they numb? Is it hard to get any of those feelings out? You can see where they are in this chart. Yeah? And man, that's not technical. That's just our understanding of what we've been going through, our after action report. So now, we'll look at, okay, Dion, I know where I am on this. What do I do now? Well, the first thing I did was I put components through all of this. In this bit here, I deconstructed why don't we have a choice when we go to this other world. And I put products and services in place to help with the training. We go into here, 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 we go into here. Yeah? V equals victory. We go into all of those areas and we start by spreading the good news, not raising awareness about how shit it is. Don't tell me how shit it is. I know I've been in it. If someone's in it, they know how shit it is. They don't want to keep, people keep saying how shit it is. That's just building awareness. And they skip the big gap and go straight to take action. With what? Within my unit, I talk to the site. That ain't going to help. Why? Because I won't be able to deploy, won't be part of my unit, and you work for the Defence Force anyway. Well, go to Veterans Affairs if you're a veteran. But I'm not a veteran. I didn't deploy. Oh, okay then. Try your RSL, your RSA. What? What's going on? So veterans and other military and ex-military personnel and civilian volunteers are creating all these other organisations to try and fill these gaps. And again, it's a scattergun approach. Yeah? I want to start one person at a time with seeding the victory. All right? So you know where you are on this. If you're looking at this right now going, that's me. I don't believe you. Give me something to do. You need to watch the next video. All right? Talk to you soon.